I want to show how to think about taking wireframe diagrams, which are the sort of templates from which apps and sites are built, and using them to create prototypes where you can click through to see how one screen in an app gets to the next screen in an app, or one screen in a website gets to the next screen in the website. So here I have a site map, a very simple site. I'm imagining that I'm making a COVID-19 vaccine location finding website and a user can come into the home page of that website see some information about the vaccine get into a section about the eligibility requirements all the different categories of eligibility the elderly over 75 people who are frontline workers emergency workers those who are in education will all be listed here and for every one of those categories of eligible people you'd have a detail page about the eligibility requirements for those type of people so you'd have multiple of these kinds of page for each eligibility category from the home page you could also get into finding a location for your vaccination so you could search by zip code and you'd get to some location information when you clicked on a particular location that you had found. From the homepage, you can also get to just information about the vaccines. This is to convince people that they're safe and effective. So we would have a bit of brochureware about the safety and efficacy of these vaccines, and you could learn a little bit more about the details mentioned there by clicking through to a detail page about each one of the points made on this page. So that's the key concept of this site. You've also got some stuff in the footer. You can contact us. You've got an about us page. You've got a terms of use and privacy policy, just some kind of boilerplate stuff. I'm actually using the contact us template that I've created to actually have a sign up for the vaccination online sign up. So it's not really a contact us. It looks a lot like a contact us form, but it's really used to indicate your interest in getting the vaccine and getting yourself put on a wait list. So let me uh, show you the actual wireframe diagram. So as you'll see in the site map here, for each page in this site, I've indicated a, a wireframe template that will be used. So the home page will follow the template wireframe that we call the home template. The eligibility requirements page will be what we're now calling brochureware. The about page about the vaccines will also be called brochureware, following the brochureware template. And the locations finder will be following a different style that I've created in a wireframe called the list template. When you're clicking on any particular eligibility category, you're going to be seeing a page that's following a details template, which shows details of a certain topic. Uh, if you click on a particular location, for vaccination, you also see a details page, in this case, a location and the details of that location. If you're looking at information about the vaccine and its safety and efficacy, you're going to click to see more about any one of the points made there and see a details template page about the detail that you clicked on. So you'll see that there are only a few different templates, home, brochureware, list, and details for the majority of this site. Um, so each template can be used many times for different pages. And that means that the content will be different, but the structure of the page and the layout of the page will be the same. The contact us template will be used for you signing up for a vaccine at a location. And the success uh, screen that you see when you sign up will be following a particular unique template as well. So these are just kind of unique templates used on just one page because this page has unusual needs. It's got a form that's interactive and that's different from any other page in the site. So this template won't be reused anywhere else except for these two pages. Okay, and uh, let me jump into the actual diagram. So I've made some diagrams. These are super generic. Here's my home template that is you know, showing you some happy people, impactful, bold statement about vaccination here. Different subsections we laid out in a vertical manner. This is for mobile. And uh, for each of the points made here, whatever those might be, we have a link to learn more. So this might be check your eligibility, learn more. Find a location, learn more. About the vaccine, learn more. So each of the major sections of the site will be laid out here with a little blurb about them and a link to learn more. The brochureware would be used in a kind of an alternating template where you have an image on the left and text on the right, followed by image on the right, text on the left. And if you had to go further down the page, that pattern could be repeated left and right and left and right. So creating a little layout that could be useful just for some, some dashboard information that you can click on any section to learn more about. We'll see how I'm putting this to use in this particular site as I go and kind of fill in real copy here, or at least temporary real copy until I have the real, real copy. And uh, we'll actually be plugging in some real text in some of these parts before we make the prototype to make these look a little more real so that when we get, when we get to a prototype that you can click through, you can actually see not just kind of abstract information about what kind of stuff would go in each place, some mock content that makes it look a bit more real. So I will uh, share a link to these wireframe diagrams for each of the templates that I've talked about. And there's another doc document I've made, which has mockups. This is where I've gone in and filled in mock 
data to make it look a little more real. So for the home, what kind of you know real text or imagery should I have? Well, for home, I'm going to have a bold statement where I had in the original wireframe an indicator that here goes a bold statement. So I'm writing in a mock bold statement just for discussion purposes. Return to normal with COVID-19, now available near you, right? Almost like a movie preview. You've got uh, eligibility teaser image. So showing people getting vaccinated perhaps would be a nice photo for there. And um, a little blurb, find out whether you're eligible, click here. Find a location, looking for a vaccine location, look no further, search by your zip, learn more. Uh, the benefits of vaccination, COVID-19 vaccine is, has amazing benefits. Find out today why these vaccines are safe and necessary, learn more, right? So the goal here is to feed people into the deeper pages to kind of drill down into the next step of their engagement at each of these sections. So hopefully one of these things is interesting to them and they will click to learn more. It's a classic sort of a dashboardy layout. All right, the uh, the page you get to by clicking to learn more about eligibility be, would be um, the eligibility criteria page. You'd list out all the different categories of eligible people, over 75, emergency workers, and we would continue down the page just outlining each of the categories. And you could click in any category to learn more. If you were to click on one of these categories, you would get to the details for that category. So eligibility details for over 75, for example, image of happy people in that category, some important information about people in that category. And why not link to related content down at the bottom, you know, check out other eligibility categories, uh, people with health conditions, or those who are in education settings, for example. If you were to go from the home to find a location, you get to image of a map, or it could be an actual interactive map. We could figure out which we prefer, image or interactive. And uh, you would be able to do a search by zip. There'd be some results perhaps showing by default based on your browser's location. If that was available, we could show some default nearby places to get vaccinated, but you could also search by zip and that would update the results down here. And you could click on any of the locations that you see in the, in the results and get to a location details template that shows you that particular location, its address, what number you call for a vaccine, and a link to click to register online for a vaccine at that location. If you click that link, you're going to get to this contact us. I should rename this really to um, sign up for a vaccine. That's really what this is doing. You're going to have a little blurb explaining what this form is for. And the user has to fill in some critical information to register for a vaccine at that location they clicked on. They click submit, check that terms in the service, and we now take them to a thank you. It's the same page, uh, but with a thank you message. So the form has essentially been swapped out with a message. I'm thinking this would be the same page on the website, but this dynamic area would be replaced with this thank you message. So since I renamed this one sign up for vaccine, I'll rename it here as well. This is the same page, but a different screen on the same page. If you went to the information about the vaccine, you just wanted to learn about it. Is it safe? Uh, is it efficacy high? So we would have all the, the marketing information about the vaccine. We would give you a photo that makes you feel safe and comfortable and healthy. And we would have a little description about how good it is. And we would mention all the different key points to convince people it's safe and effective, right? We talk about the safety of it, how it's been well tested, it's gone through all the phases of clinical trials and so on. And you can learn all the details by clicking more. We're gonna convince you it uh, has a high efficacy rate so that it's actually worth it. It's gonna help you avoid this disease. And we'll have a link to learn more. And if you click any of those links uh, to any of the features of the vaccine, you would get to a page that is a detail page where you see that feature in more detail. And you can see the other features as well. So anyway, this, these are the uh, wireframes essentially that will be used in a prototype. They've got mock content put in that makes them feel a bit more real. So I've exported these as PNGs, as image files. Each one of these I've highlighted, I'm using a tool called Draw.io, a very crude, but nevertheless, very easy to use tool for making wireframe and other kinds of diagrams. I've highlighted each of these wireframe diagrams and gone to file, export as PNG. I'm only wanting to export what I have selected, that one wireframe. And I click export and I can save it as a PNG into a folder. So I've done that for all of the, each of the, the mockups that I have here based on my wireframes. And now I'm ready to import these into a prototype.
So what I will do is I will go to Envision app. This is a useful prototyping tool. It's by no means the best or worst prototyping tool. It's a prototyping tool like any other. It happens to have a free trial. That's why I'm using it here. And what I can do is I can take the mock-up diagrams that I've made, these PNG files I've saved, and I can just drag and drop them into Envision app and they will be imported as screens and da -da -da -da, they're all uploaded and available. And since I've labeled my files nicely, they're easy for me to understand which is which. If you don't name your files nicely, good luck, you're on your own. So what I can do is I can go into each of these screens, let's say home screen, and I can start to figure out how to make hotspots. And in order to do that, I can go into build mode. So down at the bottom, there's build mode, and you in here can create hotspots. You click and drag to create a hotspot. So I'll click and drag on that hamburger icon, for example. And I'm gonna link to, I've got a hamburger, I'm not sure I uploaded my hamburger image, so I haven't done that yet, so I'll do that one last. Okay. So so if I, for example, click on this link here, or I'll just do the whole thing clickable, why not? I can make this whole area link to the eligibility screen. So I'm gonna link to a particular screen, the eligibility screen, and the transition will be instant, why not? And I will save. Now I'll do the same thing down for the next tile in this layout. This one links to find location, so I will link to find location, which is my 3.0 page. Save that. Click and highlight the benefits tile. That's gonna go to the benefits of vaccination page, which is 4.0, save. I've also got links down here. I can make these clickable about us. We'll go to the about us page, of course, wherever that is. Save the contact us. We'll go to the contact us page, as you might have guessed. This one is getting a bit messed up. Hold on a second. Contact us page and save that. Um, I won't do all the rest, but you get the idea. Terms of use, I have that page. Might as well link to it. Terms, save. And privacy policy, I've got that as well. Link to privacy, save. So I've basically made a prototype of this home page at this point except for the hamburger i forgot to import the hamburger image i'll do that later so uh, let's go back to preview mode play mode and now i can look at this and click somewhere and it'll show me which are the hot spots and i can say okay what happens when i click on this link well boom i'm going to get to the eligibility criteria page if i go back how do i go back well there's no way to go back i haven't yet mocked up this page so let's go to build mode put a big hot spot around the logo now the logo is actually repeated on every single page of this site so what i can do is i can say this links to home logo links to home like you might expect it to do and i'm going to include this hot spot in a template this is a template is a set of hot spots that can be repeated automatically on every page or as many pages as you want so i'm going to create a template let's call a template call it um, top bar save that template and save this Hotspot. You'll see at the top of this prototype screen, the hotspot template is applied. So let's click on that in run mode. I'm sorry, in preview mode. And uh, let's just go to the home screen. So I want to apply the same template here. So this should also have logo and menu being active. So I'm going to have the top bar applied to this one. What if I go to the next screen? Let me go to run mode and show you if I go to the eligibility, I'm sorry, the find location. I want that logo to be hot as well. I'll go to build mode, apply my top bar template, and I can just keep doing this for every screen. You can go with the right arrow screen by screen and just click top bar for every one of them because they are all gonna follow that same paradigm. The top bar will link to the home page, and that menu, once I have it, will pop up when I click the hamburger. I'll add that to the template later. So I'm gonna do this for every single page on the site since they all share that same navigation. Contact us if you filled out the form and clicked submit. I'm going to make a hotspot on submit, which will show you at that point the contact success screen. Remember, that's the thank you message. After you filled out your appointment information and you click submit, it's going to show you a thank you message. In this case, it's a single page. It's two parts of a single page. The form that you fill out, you submit, and then the screen you see with a thank you after you've submitted. So I'm going to maintain scroll position after click, meaning when someone clicks that submit, we're not going to jump to the top of the next page that's linked from here. We're gonna keep this scroll point and just swap out the image with the thank you message image. Let me show you how that would work. If I go to the form, well, let me do it from the home screen. I'm gonna to go to run mode, go to the logo. That takes me to the home. I'm gonna to go to find a location. I'm going to click on Walgreens. I'm now on Walgreens. I'm going to go down to online appointments. I don't think I made that one a link. Let me make that one a link. Under online appointments, I'm gonna make this a link to the form you can fill out to schedule an online appointment. That is the contact. It's not a good name for the page, but it's called the contact page in my 
set of templates here. Let me go to run mode. I'm on the Walgreens screen now. I can now click on this and boom, I get to contact us. There's no way in a prototype to fill in forms like this. Um, so I've just skipped that. I've just made the submit button a, uh, an active hotspot. So I'll click submit and it should maintain scroll position and show me a thank you message. Let's try it out. Thank you, you've been registered. So I'm at the bottom of that page, that same page, but that thank you message has been swapped out where that form was. Okay, let me go to the terms of use. Oh, I didn't make that into a hotspot. I did make that into a hotspot on the home page, if you recall, but I didn't apply that to a template. So let me do that. Let's go to build mode. I'm gonna pop open a new template, which I have not yet created, by clicking on this link and include hotspot and template. And I'm gonna call this template something new, which is going to be called footer. And I'm going to position relative to the bottom because some of these pages are longer than others. No matter how long the pages are, I want the footer to be at the very bottom like it is here. Uh, so really, this is not relative to the top, but relative to the bottom of the page. Same with the contact us. I'm going to add that to the same template. In this case, the footer template. Save. And the terms of use. Include it in the footer template. Save. And the privacy policy. Include it in the template of the footer. So now I can just apply that footer template to every screen. I want to apply the top bar and the footer and the next screen, top bar and footer. Um, all right, I'm done. That is how you'd make your prototypes and you can share by sending out a link to all your loved ones. You could also export your projects. If you go to the project um, main page, there is somewhere here an export option. Where is it? Export prototype and you can export as PDF or export as a kind of a self-built, self-contained website. Thank you, that's all.